Welcome to the Double Dusted Discussion 100th episode. Holding it down, Big Lynch, Donnie Duckett's on the ones and twos. Uh, we will be uploading the podcast, by the way, to a new YouTube channel from this point forward, youtube.com slash double dusted. And uh, there's a link in the description. Head over there. The next episode will be there. Um, it's just a thing we're doing. Podcast is probably going to be sicker than ever, though, because uh, we're not monetized there. So we're clearly doing it for the love of the game. I got a message from a guy, Am Crambler or AMC Rambler. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and uh, yeah, he was like, uh, yo, scoop Lynch with this one on the pod. He'll never see it coming. Mm. And that's where we got that Burger King goes big with ranch. I would have. I saw that. Like you seconds. saw it before yeah, this guy sent it. You already saw it, dude. I'm number deep in this. Is the number one news. food news podcast, <laughs> yeah. and I produced the number one food news podcast. I know what's going on. You should. He doesn't even know how deep we're going to get later in the show. Big news coming out. This is this. He won't even know. He's going to get scooped on this one. Big. He doesn't even believe it. Hey, hey, AMC Rambler. It's going to get perfect glopped. He's not going to realize. Like like our boy. Like I, I'm going to save it. It's a big story. Okay. Though. He had Huge no idea story. how perfectly shaped your head was until today. <laughs> <laughs> right, you were one step ahead of that. You know we're the only we're the number one food podcast in the game. Because food every food news podcast, food news, all of it. Because news, every other slash pod, comedy slash every other podcast is experience. like, you're not making enough money. Fuck women. You can't even <laughs> fuck women. I don't trust women. You have no money. Listen to me, bitch. Sign up for fifty dollars to my website, and I'll show you. That's serious. That's <laughs> that is a lot of podcasts, though. I mean, we, have a, we, have a, oh, we have a real ask at the top here because uh, it is officially now the double dusted podcast on um, a new channel it will be on a new channel uh on all audio this is on a new channel right now no this will be coming up this out one on, right now is not on a new channel not yet the Clips next will one be on is going to be but but the channel is going to be there and you can go and and check that channel out right now and prepare for when the next one comes out on that channel yeah go so we need it. you guys to go and, and help us uh we got the link in the description yeah link in the description Go sub to that channel, turn notifications on. We're going to, as we go along here, migrate everything onto that channel uh, moving forward. This is just for YouTube. Don't even sub to that channel, bro. Go dominate to that channel. Yeah. Dominate that <laughs> subscribe button. You know what I'm saying, dude? Remember when we were going to do that used air fryer giveaway? Yeah, no. that's that's what you get. That was that, the thing I, I said? think that should be the reward for switching, like, Switching to the new channel and fucking DMing us. Who's so, air fryer? I said my air fryer. Yeah, you did. When did you I said, say this shit, bro? You said you had two and you would give one away. Ah, uh, bro, times were different, bro. Times were different <laughs> oh. when I said that. And I made that claim. I need that air fryer. I may have already sold that on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> yeah, you ever go on Facebook Marketplace? Well, if whoever you sold it to is watching, we need that back. What about this ranch? <laughs> yeah, what about this virgin going big with the ranch? <laughs> Lynch been sleeping on that big ranch, eh, buddy? Typical Hidden Valley Ranch dip cup at Burger King with dip one cup, ounce of sauce. A cup? No. Cup? Eight ounces of sauce. One ounce is a regular dipper. Oh, this one's got eight ounces? That's eight too ounces, much yeah. sauce for the Burger yeah. King. <laughs> We've been talking about this ranch comeback, and I feel like this is complete. It's a, I, it's have gone to, I, I respect now. this move big time. I got a lot of respect for this move. Yeah, I, I like it. I think it's a great idea. I often want to dip my burger in a sauce, like I said, do you? honey mustard. No, I, what do I you do? do? What, kind of, what, kind of, what kind of dips you guys doing? What do you guys got? Hot mustard from McDonald's. I'll use that. I'm I'll use ketchup. That. That's, you go to McDonald's. You know you gotta, I'm going. See, I get. I go to McDonald's. I get a quarter pounder with cheese. Mm -hmm. I get sweet and sour. Yeah, and you know what I got to do? Have a perfect bite. Let me tell them what I got to do. I have to take one bite of that sandwich before yeah. I could dip it because I need a corner hook. That's right. To yeah. get in there. So the that first one's never got it. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes the ranch is so filled up to the top. Sorry. The sweet and sour sauce so filled up to the top. I could skim my burger across the top, get a little bit of. Yeah. Uh, but so I, I see what they're doing here. I like it. Uh, I like that. Uh, Maybe someone should come out with like a pre. Dipping burger. Pre like a pre bit, like a pre star shaped. Yeah, burger. like like that's just change the whole burger game completely to make it dipping. Make it accessible to dips that are one ounces. You think I got a move like uh like 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 Epic Meal Time could have had a move with a, a fast food companion accessory? For like sure. Like something yeah. that you would bring there. Like imagine, imagine you had imagine you brought a device 
that okay. uh, it was really small. And I'm thinking this up on the spot. Imagine I could brainstorm and you could literally take nine ketchup packages that are those annoying little rip packages and you could slide it into it like a letter opener and it slices them all, put it around on the other side and then it rolls it like a toothpaste tube and it takes out all the ketchup. You could do like six at a time. Right, because Yo. you know how you know what I do. Sometimes I take like three of those packets. I bite off three corners and I try and get all the ketchup out enough yeah. for like four dips. Yeah, exactly. How sick is what I'm talking about? Or right why don't they just make an eight ounce ketchup? Who's packet? they, bro? It's us. Do you ever it's get us. those though? Yeah, we can. Do you ever that. get like the fat ketchup pack when you go to? Some I've gotten the fat a few times, dude. Try, <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost getting the fat again right now. <laughs> no, sorry, what were you saying before I? Do you have like your standard McDonald's bitch size? That's pretty much everywhere. But sometimes you go to a place and they have like a giant one. Oh, the fat pack. Yeah, that exactly. big square bad boy. Exactly. Uh, How yeah. committed are you guys to a drive-through sauce? Because I, I more often than not, like I'll a order car wash. My, like I'll sauce. order my sauce, and they do charge you for those. You know, the one ounce little sauces, the specialty sauces you're gonna get, not a ketchup pack. And you ask for it, and you're paying like twenty five cents, whatever it is, or fifty cents for more sauce because. We'd be saucy out here. And um, you go through and you just, whatever, you grab your bag and, and, you, and you sort of go. And then you, as you're driving away, you're looking through, but you've already, it's a one direction. You can only go one direction with this. RIP. Drive through. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and and uh, you open it up and you're like, as you're driving. One direction, like, oh, straight down. Damn. Like, there's only, there's only one that didn't, that didn't give me my sauce. Like, I got, that's, what am I going to do here? Do you just accept defeat or do you, circle back and go in live or drive back to the to the drive through uh i have one sauce but i don't have another sauce or i have like no sauce at all if it's nuggets Nuggets. i'm going back inside because my nuggets are dead if i don't have sweet and sour so nuggets is the one food you requires like it like you need food but if it's fries, if if i have mcdonald's nuggets and there's no sauce like sweet and sour sauce specifically i don't really give a shit about them at all Okay, and I right. would go back inside and be like, excuse me, bitch. These are all a fucking waste now, aren't they? Yeah, and I throw just them vehicle. in their face <laughs> and put my hand in the air fryer, in the in the, in the the oil. But what oil. A, <laughs> to like prove a point? Terminator 2. <laughs> to prove a point, yeah. Okay. Um, do you agree? But yeah, no, nuggets are a vehicle for sauce. Like, what's the fuck? Oh, burger, oh, fry? Like, burger fry, you don't care? Burger fry, you're like, I'm just going to go home. Fries, right. I care a well, lot. Well, does my burger have nothing on it? You just order like a cheeseburger. I don't know. Oh, so I got ketchup, bro. But not for your fries. Uh, Just try to decide. Fries I could do. I've done without ketchup sometimes. Mm. But you know what? Like my my beverage is far more important. Like if I had if I took a fry and it was a soggy colder fry, Mm. and like there's no ketchup, and then I sip my drink and it's a little touch like flat warmish. I'm going in there and sticking my dick in the oil. In the oil and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stick my dick in the. You're, cha- you're going in there and opening the the back of the Coke machine and like changing the the filter or whatever they do. Like adding yeah, I'm, I'm fucking to punching it. the back of the Coke machine, ripping off the panel and taking out a bag. And I'm like, this, I'm being like, this is syrup or is the it powder? Du- the double dusted podcast would be way more viral if you just were going into McDonald's and and breaking down machines like that, double or putting your hand in air, putting your hand in the fryer. Like that'd be way <laughs> better for us. Double discussion would be popping if i killed people. they'd be like what happened yeah like if hardly killed- on like a fucking downward ketamine spiral running through society live streaming his assaulting of fast food workers and i'd get like, a kick deal <laughs> yeah i'd be collaborating with fusi every day uh no if i killed people this podcast would be sick if you would it be sicker if i was fusi from- killed his dog <laughs> if i was in you heard about that <laughs> <laughs> for clicks if i was in, if i was in prison would this be podcast lit or would it be lit if i had killed people and i was out of prison and did i really kill them or i didn't anyways think on that so uh what's so crazy is i made my career entering contests on the internet way back in the day like that's how epic meal time started i entered a contest john tesh um, he had to that. take his song and make a music video. And uh, with that money, I bought the camera that I film Epic Mealtime with. And before that, I, I entered another that, contest. That John Tesh shit. Did you? You held the camera in the one where it's both of us in the shot? Where it's you, you, where it's both of you in the shot against the brick wall of your at my house. house. That's exactly. so funny. 
Yeah, I was the one holding the camera. Bro. Yeah, bro. You should have got paid. Yeah, I never did. I never okay. did. I had a good time, though. Basically, you're a co-creator. Uh, if film. only a muscle's glasses felt that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, so uh, I, I entered a contest for a uh, $100,000 Dorito contest. Dude, you started unscrewing shit for a second, Lynch. I'm like, what's this guy? This guy's going to pull out Doritos right now while I'm talking about Doritos. <laughs> and he's got them in like a fucking ammunition <laughs> case. No, no. Yeah. So the uh, I entered this contest, Doritos, $100,000. And I remember it was it was low-key a little awkward um, looking back on. At the time, it wasn't. Times were different. But I remember filming with my buddy that I played football with. Yeah. And, I, and like, I was like, yeah, like I, I was like directing him to pitch this chip this doritos chip to the audience to but the clear, thing is this, to be clear this is before everyone was a content creator like your oh neighbor. yeah this like is not so everyone like, would, like not i uploaded everyone... this on facebook and people found it weird that i was making <laughs> yeah. videos and uploading it like yeah. myself they were like it he's was just weird filming himself and he's putting it and that's that's his house why is and it now people a, have 100 okay. followers and like i'm actually an influencer yeah uh, yeah on yeah. dog shoes well, I remember so I was with my buddy Matt and he's like I'm I'm pitching him to like I'm directing him to pitch the chip flavor which was really chilly and I was like be like yeah just give it your all and he was like really chilly and I was like be more like be do a more like and I remember this is one of the first times ever I'm like how am I going to tell this guy how to be when I want him to be more as TV talk in 2012 would have said, and I remember it was a different time. I'm like 23 doing this. Like in TV at that time, someone would have been like, be more urban. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm in my basement. I don't know how to like say, and I, and this is like, this is literally like one of my best friends too. Like we have that all the time. And I'm like, oh, be like, go, go all out, dude. And he's like, <laughs> really chilly. And I'm like, no, nah, go like, be like, imagine this was like, and I'm trying to like get anyways. I did that. That was one video. Another video, I threw chips on my girlfriend at the time. She was just like on the floor and I like threw chips on her. Doritos um, fail. Yeah. A sexy Doritos <laughs> sexy fail. Sexy Doritos fail. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you like 2008 <laughs> naming structure for a video. Exactly. And before <laughs> tags, it was like the tags were the title. Bro, and I was early on that. Sexy Doritos fail. Yeah. Like, gone no, wrong. Was, Bro, gone smart. wrong. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 24 one, hour stream yeah that one won a thousand dollars and the other one won uh a hundred dollars and uh, the person who came in second place for that contest was actually peter chow who was a youtuber that i liked and i remember his entry to the contest came late and he like jumped up to like second place right away i remember commenting on his video like with my own video you could do that on youtube and i was like bro you're a big youtuber why are you even entering this contest and like it's like taking doritos from a baby and marlon's kid was there and i like snatched doritos out of her hand yeah and like just made her cry and i was like what's that and so there's like a crying baby and uh i remember he like commented on it and i remember being like oh my god peter chow commented but my life was changed all that to say maybe your life changes now because, yeah, that's right. We got fucking food news, baby boy. <laughs> Lay's just announced the return of their do us a favor. Sorry, do us a flavor contest. Oh, shit. Where fucking dickhead millennial thought he was so smart. He's like, do us a flavor. And there was a roof. People were like, oh, my God, I love it. Uh, do us a flavor contest. Uh, I love after- it, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you do it, don't you, Margo? Uh, anyone's welcome to submit their flavor ideas so from now till february 21st 2025 and uh, you can submit up to 10 flavor ideas each day that's too much flavor that's way too many that's way too many flavors bro two runner-ups the yeah. host of the double dusted discussion says that's too much flavor <laughs> well me every day just being like sending in 10 flavors on like double ketchup it's double, like double barbecue it's like when double. jim makes that list of ideas for dwight there and it's like buy a hat <laughs> buy a cat i already got it. i already rat. got my submission ready to go <laughs> well well listen the two runner-ups will win 50k each and the grand prize winner takes home a million dollars wow we need that's to enter. wild 2012 winners were cheesy garlic bread chicken and waffles crispy taco southern biscuits and gravy and wavy fried green tomato. What I don't like about this thing here, the whole flavors that win are, I'm like, oh, a flavor that's just a flavor? You yeah. need to make up a flavor. Yeah, dude. You make up do a flavor, bro. Angry French I, Canadian flavor. 
literally, but that's but saying something like maple syrup hot dog poutine. That's bubbity hubbity ga. That's that's like hot actually... dog water with some sweetness in it. Sounds terrible. Yeah, but what do you got? What do you got, Lynch? What's your, uh, what's your mine simple. Here? Honey mustard, double dusted, double dusted honey mustard. Sorry. Yeah, double honey mustard. So should we? Should our podcast be doing that every day? Being like double barbecue, double honey mustard, and then the subreddit is full of double, AI double flavors pill. that are fooling me. We are giving double away free pickle. game right now, but uh, maybe people. Uh, I wonder Unless if we can do that double dill pickle. Yo, double triple dill pickle. pickle. You know, another sick one. You know what a sick one is? Epic meal. <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally it's every, every like chip. Surprised. It's every chip flavor that's ever been, good or not. Yo. It's like you bite it and you're like, there's cheese, cheesiness in there too. What the fuck? And chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a million for that. And most of us going to eat this chip. And ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> ketamine chip. Double dusted ketamine chip. <laughs> ketamine oh, smells like God. a gas. You crack like, open the bag, it smells like a gas station. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, it tastes like TV static. <laughs> uh, no, that guy, another good one. It was called uh, Clean Clean. <laughs> and, and you open up the bag, it smells like a bag of Coke. Oh man! <laughs> I got that I'm sure Lay's legal would be loving this right now. These are definitely these are winning submissions right now, for sure. Yeah, you are, would bro. submit, eh? You would submit Lynch to a contest, bro, a million yeah. bucks on this. <laughs> you would submit, bro. Look at this guy dying to submit ten times a day. Calm down, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to get our budget. Yeah, up, yo, dude. fellas, is it gay to submit to a contest? <laughs> Oh, you know, bro, that's funny, bro. Like, you know, you like you're you got like a website open to like fill an application for your banking, and then at the end, it's like you do the whole thing, and it's like the submit button. You're like, nah, I don't think so, bro. <laughs> I ain't about that diddy shit, dude. Or you, you like, must have me confused. You lie on your back with your legs up and click submit. <laughs> <laughs> you know who would never submit? I can tell you would never submit. And this, is, this is a big. It's better deal. be the sickest segue ever. <laughs> <laughs> better not be about the marketing VP. No, no. Like, yeah. This is about the top dog. The glizzy the dog. dog. You know who never submit? Sprite to Coca Cola when they came out with this nah, with nah, the new nah. Tic Tac. Nah, nah. Brian Nickel would never submit there. <laughs> okay, the Starbucks CEO. <laughs> yeah, he would never submit. He, uh, he would talking. never. He would Your never boy. submit. Yeah, he's. Your, he took that $100 million check to leave Taco Bell. He's like, no, nah, I'll take that $100 mil. I'm going to super commute from from California all the way to Seattle. I'm working in office three days a week off the private jet. First That's what order. he's doing? He flies back and forth? Correct. Yeah, he flies on a the private fuck? jet. Like he's like, he, no, no, I'm not living there. They're doing yeah. in office. Yeah, in office. He got $100 mil. He literally named his price because that's how big deal he is in the in the CP, uh, how could you in the, in the QSR so game. Good. How could you be so good at being a CEO? You're just making money, dude, all the time. You but that's not enough. Quarters. I want to see the moment to moment. Every like, quarter. If you told me that, like, a basketball player, uh, and you showed me the scores and their record, and you're like, yeah, there's a basketball player guy. He's $25 million. I'd be like, okay. But then I see him do it. I see him do the slam dunk. And I'm like, okay. No one else can. Okay. Let me see Big Dick Brian Nickel do Did you see Starbucks that picture I put up dunk. there? Just look at this it's picture. A picture. But that's the slam dunk. Dude, the heat. What I, 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 I to, it, it's a picture of this guy killing it right now. He look how like, confident he is. He looks like uh, he's, he literally is. He's he's swagged out in that Pizza Hut, that dude. Pizza Hut coloring aesthetic, uh, and he's got the watch out there for us. So yeah, you, you know kind of watch, watch that is. Red, you got the red. What kind of watch is that, Lens? You know what that is? I, I have to zoom in. I no way know. he's doing like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar watch in this picture. It'd be like not chill, right? Okay, but so. I want to know, like, when, like, it's not enough for me to see the picture. I want to see him walk in there the smile, and be like, dude. let's go, people. I got five minutes to do these sick pictures, tell an assistant 10 things to do, take a phone call, have a quick meeting, sip a coffee, do a line, and get back in his vehicle. His only I mistake see, like, he's I making in this picture, only mistake he's making in this picture is, is having hair. That's literally his only mistake. But, like, outside of that, You're his first order of business, like his first Brothers, order of business, no he way. walks in. But if you want to be yeah he walks in he goes okay we're pulling back on discounting and promotions that's oh. the first order of business and the first thing Full i thought price, i'm like this baby. guy is so next level i've never even known you can get a discount at starbucks have you ever got a discount there before never I don't seen think a i've ever a made a transaction life. at a starbucks you get a you can Maybe get a, a cookie uh if you use the app i think you can get like uh if you buy it like a loyalty type thing 
I think they have. Oh, they're that. increasing. Not the me, shit. dude. Like I know. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am about that Diddy shit. Right? You know that, bro. <laughs> like I smoke weed. This guy's like, saying it, that. Yeah. He's smiling while he says. It I ain't loyal time. and I ain't submitting. <laughs> he wants to bring back their community coffee house identity by getting rid of discounts. That's a crazy way to pro- like approach that. Yeah, that's the opposite of what people want. He's like, want to be about community. Yeah, less discounts. Well, this is like he's okay, smiling cool, with like bro. You're, you're, you're the Starbucks. <laughs> you're the Starbucks CEO. That's like if I if I became the quarterback of the number one like Food football news team, <laughs> quarterback of the number one football team. We have the best running back in history, and I get in there. I'm like, we're gonna run. Mm. We're gonna run every down. What? What, bro? I'm supposed to be impressed. That he goes into Starbucks and he is like, we're going to charge more. Money's up. Man, pay this guy 100 mil. Don't you know who Starbucks demographic is? Like the dumbest bitches, bro. I say that every time I'm there. What's funny, so, what, like, what's funny about what's Starbucks funny, is that no one You think there's anything funny about this? Big, I do. Big, big, I, I, I don't think so. You're laughing. It ain't a game, yeah. dude. Yeah. Listen, I respect the picture. I respect. He's giving off vibes like he, 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 he could own this entire podcast in one second. He will come on and we would all love him by the end of the podcast. Like without it, we'd doubt. be like, bro, why aren't you bald? Yeah, he's like, oh, I could be if I wanted to, but um, next year. But what's funny about Starbucks is that no one thought coffee could be this big that they could pay someone a hundred million to run the coffee store. Like, think about that. Like back in the day, this isn't even too far removed from when we like in the eighties. Like people weren't going to coffee. Like the people weren't going to coffee for ten dollars in, in the nineties. In the nineties, like literally, like when I was in the sixth or seventh grade. The idea that a place like Starbucks would open and what do you get there? Coffee? Coffee? Crazy. What else was it actually insane? Because you're like, why would you go to a place for coffee when everywhere has coffee? Yeah, I get my And there was like, nah, bro, you spend more for this coffee, though. (laughs) You spend more on it. I get my Columbia House coffee at home. Yeah, you get a bigger cup. It's colder when you get to the bottom. You spend more money on it. We've gone too far on coffee culture, I think. It's a little too much. Like we've reached levels that are uh, unnecessary. Yeah, but. We had some we had some big coffees. Uh Donnie and I, we had a coffee. We had like that twenty dollar cup of coffee uh mm-hmm. coming back from Vermont, remember? Yeah, but they're not paying coffee. their CEO hundred million. So we're no, obviously we paying were too coming much. Coming back from uh Vermont. We were at uh Marlin's place. We came back, we went to that fancy coffee place. Were you not there? No. Oh, I bought oh I spoke about last time I told you it was the coffee from yeah. Peru. Yeah, the guy was chewing it up in his mouth and spitting it into a coffee. <laughs> he Magio. rubbed it all over. No, he, dude, he took it. He took it and he rubbed it all over his. That's how you know you're in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know you're in Vermont, wiener. Uh, Doritos, dude. What do you think of Doritos these days? What do you think about Pizza Hut? <laughs> pizza Hut. I really, <laughs> I'm down with this concept right here. Um, pizza Hut's type of shit. Like if I were at a party and I didn't know anyone. And I was like sitting down in the corner, petting the dog and looking at my phone. And I heard like people over there and they're like, oh, yeah, pizza buffet. I'd stand up, walk over and be like, you guys talking about pizza? Hut? <laughs> <laughs> they're not. I thought this. I heard someone Dude, say pizza. If you offered you me $5,000 to accurately guess the the year that I last ate Pizza Hut, I couldn't. I couldn't I do I know mine. Yeah, I'm thinking mine's somewhere around 2006. I mean, uh, ours is very, mine's very similar. I was, uh, I was 2007. Harley and I were driving from Montreal to London, Ontario to meet up with our with our bids, as we would have said in 2007 for sure. Yeah. Uh, long drive, seven hours. Big seven hour drive. To I kind of remember this bids. story. Big seven hour drive from meeting and blizzing. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I, mar- I married that bid for you, whatever. Uh, I didn't realize we, that's what we were talking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that's good, good for you. And then you did. You didn't <laughs> marry yours. And then we uh, split up for the week. She I got married, married though. Sure, she got course. married. Uh, no, I know do. someone that they uh for her her oh wait, no, yeah, her no a guy that didn't marry her that liked her, they they bought a cameo. From you. Like you know cameo? Yeah. You get paid off that and they're like, nice. yeah, they're like, yo, this guy uh this guy he, fucked uh, my wife. <laughs> you know, you and this guy, <laughs> this guy fucked with this girl and he's he didn't like you because of it, and then she got married. But yeah, I send them some cameo here, and I was like, ah oh, shit. How did we come in the same hole or what? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I thought maybe you would have put like uh like had like a like Behind really put station. a lot of work into it. Put a chair in the corner with the guy's name on it. 
and like have them like come back to just like a shot of you like a close-up of your face going like and then you're like yeah oh that's so good (laughs) come back to the chair come back like really give him the best cameo of his life i hire someone to like be like a guy in the shadow over there so it looks like a shadow i'm like you like it yeah. You like the show guy who got the, whose friend got the cameo? <laughs> I'm watching the size my son, don't you? Oh, it stinks in here. I feel the vaccine coursing through my veins. Give me some more ketamine, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we were, yeah. I, so you got to get a cameo. Yeah, so get a pizza cameo for Harley. Pizza. Harley Morgan cameo. Cameo. Yeah. Com slash Harley Morgan. And I'll Harley direct place. it if you guys I mean, want. Yeah, check out a cameo. Yeah, yeah I'll the produce the cameo for you. Actually, be Harley produced by Justin. We'll start running some and double dust through the chair cameo. In the corner. Yeah. We'll do some double dust through my cameos, too. I'll give yeah. you guys a little cut. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. send you guys. Mm, uh, that's not we'll dumb. That's not dumb. Um, but anyways, we separated and we went our separate ways for two days and we met back up to, to drive back and we stopped the pizza at buffet and we, you know, we were, de- oh, got buffet. Well, it sounds like Harley was depleted after that weekend. So we did go in, but eating a pizza at buffet before a seven hour drive is the most 19 year old shit you could ever do. Yeah. If I did that now. Sleep at the wheel. <laughs> if, I did that now, yeah. if I did that now, I would be asleep. I'd be like, oh, I like I'd rest. better off like having a six pack. Yeah, I feel like look at that. Like, I bet you that's a similar level of impairment, that's right? Pri- yeah. And that's prime. That's prime Lynch and sauce. Uh, prime Lynch and Harley. That's before sauce. But prime imagine Lynch and Harley. A, just... Imagine that was like a law. Don't eat too much and drive. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> well, we'd fuck up all the time. Well, they you know how many know, times I'd have to pass driving. my keys? You know how many times I'd have to pass my keys off to someone after dinner somewhere? <laughs> like, yeah. I can't do it. No. Dude. I had like fucking. I had three though. Thank I, you. I killed the menu. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that Ooh. that mushroom nap story? I think so, but tell tell the guys listening at home. I uh, and also I don't remember. My girlfriend and I were gonna go hiking, like a Show short off. little half an hour hike. That's like a, just a quick drive away. And uh, I ate like just under a half gram of mushrooms, and she was like, "I'm gonna get ready," and I knew that meant it was gonna take long. So I impulsively ate like 0.4 grams of mushrooms and lay down on the couch and closed my eyes and fell asleep for like 25 minutes. And she wakes me up and she's like, you ready to go? I'm like, yeah, get up. I completely forgot that that happened. So we drive to the mountain. We do the whole hike. Then we hike down. And as soon as I step from the mountain onto like the flat parking lot, the ground goes like. And I turn to her and I'm like, oh, fuck. And she's like, what? I'm like, I forgot I, I just ate drove mushrooms. us here on a psychedelic drug. Yeah, I was like, I forgot I ate mushrooms. And she's like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, when you were in the shower, I ate shrooms and fell asleep. And she was like, oh, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, but you drive. You lie down. I was like, like, after that? You drive. After that? After I realized what happened? Yeah, there's like, a, like if I had ever taken um, mushrooms, ketamine or anything which i never do this is all an interactive art exactly. experience the next day even i'm like i'm not operating a vehicle yeah yeah things get weird randomly no and i've come across like uh you know especially like i especially ketamine is like a drug where you're like whoa everything's anyway, i can't believe space is and time and we figured out all this uh, and then you're like oh dude <laughs> i'm sober now Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm a cartoon style. No, I'm good, dude. Actually, no, I'm seriously, I'm good. That was like, I'm a cartoon. That's like a wave. I have to whack off. Oh yeah, exactly. So you can never trust it. You can never. You gotta, uh, you gotta give that dangerous. shit like a, a day. You know? Yeah, very dangerous. Well, you could trust Pizza to come out with the best marketing campaign of the year here. They just they could trust you up. for the best segues. Also, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm on fire today. You like these segues I got going on? This guy, bro. Yeah. This guy, fucking high testosterone with that head, bearing yeah, the lead. Was, uh, um, Tell we us about your about boy. <laughs> no, we Tell were talking about pizza. Boy. They're releasing. Uh, this is a great concept, and I, I want this for real to happen because this is only this is like a marketing employee they're doing. It's it's to promote their. Please their tell me what it is pizza. before I scream. I know, right? <laughs> no, no, no. That. Listen, it's it. No, uh, it's like pizza's never been this personal. Don't per- ever talk to me like you're pizza. Brian Nichols and fucking pizza. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. No, he's salary, got bro. me now. Now I'm pizza's on the never Let's been go. this personal. Uh, they basically are putting a bunch of pop ups, like a phone booth, like nostalgic pop up, like where a single person can you can order and eat a single pizza. 
by yourself at this mm. a classic looking pizza hut picture you this know, you're walking through the park starving you turn the corner there's a phone booth wait it's mm. not a phone booth it's a mini pizza hut you go inside and you get yourself a pizza hut pizza and then you Pretty sit sick. there and eat it like a dog. You stand, I, no. bro. You stand on the dirty streets of New York <laughs> eating it like a fucking ninja turtle. You're not seeing the vision of the two. That's the problem you here. See. For me, if I'm they not had a seeing restaurant, the vision. I'm seeing the vision. Every time I turn on the TV, it got me wishing. <laughs> a single Sorry. booth restaurant? For me, I need that. That might be Big Lynch's pizza and salad. I might open my second restaurant. Will be all bo- all single booths. Only people. No, I love themselves. how they're like. What do Where people you like there? today? They they like social isolation. They like avoiding all human contact. They're like, so we'll bring them the Pizza Hut experience <laughs> in a fucking dark, lonely booth, like it's a glory hole. Nah, it's windowed up. It's just it's listen. Yeah. It's it, they have like a very bad Photoshop here to demonstrate it. Yeah, but like you go in and there's one booth, like you know, a booth table. There's just yeah. like room for one person in there. Yeah. That's like First of all, diner. Donnie, they're, they're but where's the pizza coming from, though, bro? When you're at a restaurant, the hut, how many people are sitting there looking at their phones, having their own? They're together, 48, but not together. 48, 49, 50, maybe at least. So, you know, what's adorable is like 90%. I, I go out with my girlfriend, and if we're Show not going to talk, we both bring a book and we sit there with books <sighs> in a nice. restaurant. Like I, you know what? You I, know why I though? You know why we I, do it? Is because we're actually better than you. That's yeah. funny. That's, That's so what you're funny. signaling. If I sure. if I saw you, if I got somewhere and I saw you guys, I actually and I, this never happens. I'd be like, I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, me yeah. too. And yeah, what's exactly. crazy about that is I I do like you guys, and I look at people. I look at people that other people are like, I don't want to be near that guy. I'm like, I like him. Yeah. You know, and I find it maybe I find it so weird that I would see you on site and be like, I don't like that guy. You can only make me <laughs> I don't like, like I could like the only way you can make it worse is if you're writing in your journals together, like separately at the table. That's or if journaling is different. I see journaling. Her. If you're journaling by your, the two of you separately at the dinner table. I, I'm walking I, I by guess. and I'm snatching it. I'm snatching it. Look at I'm like, oh, what do you gotta do today? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. What's up? My name's Harley Mornstein. Imagine I have like a little mini easel on the table and I'm like painting her at the table. That's hilarious. I'd be like, we're on a TikTok. This is a new art. This actually is a new artwork for the channel. It's all three of us. When we get together, we're going to go to it uh, for dinner at a table. And someone's going to take a picture of us journaling separately. Blah, and one of us has a little easel. Yeah. And it has <laughs> big letters. It's journal. My ideas. Yeah, that's it. Podcast I mean, ideas. And that's the podcast artwork. Ideas. <laughs> the podcast ideas. Podcast. We're just one about. sheet. Yeah, we're just sitting, yeah. we're sitting at the table with like a nice black journal, like a nice leather Whoa. bound and a nice black journal. man too. <laughs> <laughs> That's season three. <clears throat> uh, uh, you should. Uh, do you rate this though? No, but it, depending on the books, talking like, about journals reading, though, KFC is back with these chicken tenders. That was a good segue. <laughs> that wasn't good. That one. No, that was no. terrible. That was but now it's also not about. that important that we touch on every fucking thing that KFC and these fucking idiots are doing. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> it's food. It's food. Episode Hold on, slow dude. down, bro. Slow down. Number KFC. One. There. Uh, look and listen to what this is. KFC guys <laughs> is entering the chicken tender scene. Oh my god! I, what? <laughs> so a, yo. This is the craziest shit I heard. Oh, Are you telling me? Hold you? on a sec. Mom. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Remember that fast food I was talking about? Yeah. You're going to want to hear this. Yeah. Give me some copper drops, bro. Fuck KFC. Fuck the Colonel. Wow. Fuck you're him. really not Fuck him in his ass, bro. You know that. You know that dark. Surprisingly dark. <laughs> surprisingly dark yo uh, yo at this point at this point the only sponsor we're gonna, the only sponsor Number we're gonna get the game yo is, colonel sanders is darker than you think thick t-shirt by the way <laughs> only, only sponsor we're gonna get at this stage <laughs> is like turkey hair growth sponsor right now that's the only lane we could fit in right at this exact moment no no fast food restaurant is gonna ever gaybengolfing.com <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think a thumb. Gas station uh, classified. Co- <laughs> copper drop. Okay, you ready? This one. This one. Copper drop. Copper drop. Okay, Butterfingers coming it. out with a new flavor. Okay. I don't think they need this. Go on. Oh, salted Butterfinger caramel. salted caramel. Yes, I don't like these cop. people making. Yeah, obviously cop. But like, I don't like like people making a big deal about things that aren't a big deal. Yeah, exactly. You want to do your salted caramel? Do it, dude. 
Let's who was, it was this was going back months now but remember there was like some sort of chocolate peanut butter that dropped or something it's not not big enough like a deviation away from exactly it was, they're like you know? you know what we did we took our our thing that was like all this like sugar and peanut butter and and salt and uh, and then like we put like a some caramel now like a nutella butterfinger yeah. Now we're talking. Like, what's that about? Interesting, a little bit. Interesting. I I would like a more peculiar uh, collabo. Peanut butter Uh, and jam, butterfinger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like, see, like, or or like something like. I'm afraid. Doesn't even have to be flavor. Like, listen, in 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 the '90s, I remember Bart Simpson was the spokesperson. But also in the '90s, there was a black Bart, and he existed on T-shirts. If Butterfingers told me that they were gonna have a black Bart. Butterfinger, a hundred percent. I would cop that and Dude. probably put it in my fridge, and not even eat it. Honestly, do you guys how about Black how Bart, about or am black... I making this up? No, no. I remember Black Bart. Uh, there was Black Wiggum, and there was Black Smithers as well. Oh, this is like official merchandise. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't think here? it was. No, no. Official. They were in episodes. No. They I don't, well, sorry. I don't remember a Black Bart in an episode, but definitely Black Smithers and Black Wiggum. This has in to be episodes. Oh yeah, no. Chief Wiggum used to be black. Yeah, and so was Smithers yeah like no 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 we gotta go we're gonna go yellow oh yes yeah. yeah. so i remember that they were black i do remember that yeah in the cartoon yeah yeah, in the cartoon like old old like in the early season one yeah like the coloring of him was different and stuff yeah uh but no black bart was like a 90s t-shirt thing that you would like get you would see like you know just like fido dido era you know i'm still looking for my no fear shirt i need that yeah no fear would hit today i guess i'm surprised right? it hasn't made a comeback that shit would hit like well, there's no reason why like Stussy should be bigger than No Fear, really. If you think about it, mm. no one ever no. But people always met. I remember No Fear was chill, till I heard one time No Fear poser gear, over. <laughs> yeah, over. No See, fear. I look fell at off. No Fear. No Fear today is basically like affliction. What about exhaust? You think exhaust? No, uh, Are you see, no, a right now? Two, two things. No, no fear. fear is not affliction, by the way. You're wrong on that. That's a big yeah, I don't think so. I don't agree with that. Closer no to fear, Stussy than it is to, to, to affliction. N- no. no, no fear lost me when no fear started pushing the, the angry eyes on the like those hats. Yeah. And, you know, people wear those hats backwards and they had the two eyes. Of yeah, course. Like that, that's that's when, that. yeah, yeah, that's when they lost me. It's like a Kangle. Um, what's crazy about it's Echo. Like Woodstock 2000 styles. Yeah. Uh, oh, you said exhaust. Yeah, exhaust yeah. was big in Canada. That was no. Jokes, I remember. But... I remember you had the exhaust. Like Harley showed up in my house. Like this is in great. Like we must have been like, great to say. Yeah, 90, 95, 96. 94. I know. I, I came remember... to his. I remember coming from Elmer, coming in for the holidays to see my big cousin. Mm-hmm. Right. Big and he, pants. him, and all his boys were rocking the exhaust. They had the exhaust going like big exhaust moment. This is like the Huge. baggiest all of us. Imagine. And like they were like, and I had like colors. I had I had green ones. When green I, ones. I remember when I first got into the baggy jeans, which was probably like ninety six. You had to get like size thirty eight jeans to get them as wide as you wanted. That's different. Those were like when the elephant pants, like skateboarding vibes, came in. Ninety four was exhaust. I got this like I remember I was in the fourth. No, I remember grade, exhaust. I remember it took just, over. I'm just saying and, that's how you got wide pants where the waist still. No, fit. that but that because because made baggy pants and we didn't have like jinkos but made baggy pants weren't as cool as getting big pants right because like rappers were wearing like big pants yeah so you actually have to go buy big pants to pull it off the exhausts were like made baggy They're and they had stitching baggy. on the outside like true religion and they were like red or green or they had crazy colors i remember i had like, yeah. green, green with white you, stitching i was gonna yeah. say so i remember like i had this black pair and i was all about the black pair and i wish see, uh, i wanted the black and then pair, but my mom got you, the cheaper pair of green ones dude, unfortunately for me and you got they were green shorts weren't they it's green shorts and i remember being like they, oh. dude i saw them and i remembered being like i wish i had green shorts damn See, I have black I jeans. Wanted and I'm bl- like, I wanted the black, black jeans. Ones. wasn't It was. It was. It wasn't enough like character for me. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't like off. And, our parents and, got it wrong and, on that one, dude. No know? one had the shorts at my school. Everyone had the pants. So when I saw the shorts, I was like, "Damn!" When I saw the shorts and I tried them on, I didn't feel it. But then I saw you rocking them. I was like, "Oh, the shorts are a move. That's a whole fucking. That's a different thing." And it was big because because yeah. we used to do this. We like our 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 parents would definitely like collude. Like you get the Timberlands, I would go get a pair of Tims. Like, because we, we'd meet up a couple oh, yeah, times we, a we, year. We'd meet up like at like Christmas and we both get like a Nike hooded sweatshirt <laughs> yeah, and a Nike outfits, tube. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go back to our respective areas. And, and I remember, I, I remember like, uh, 
over the years, it was like clothing lines like Johnny Blaze oh and Sean John. God. I had the Bro, best Sean, Johnny Blaze sweater. I had a, a- Sean John. Averex. Yeah, I had a Sean that John. That was too expensive, suit. I think, for me. And people, you know what? Like uh, uh, Echo Unlimited was like such a thing for a minute there. Like people would wow, wear those. That, that sweater. sweater hit so my, hard, dude. My school, the people that wore the red Echo sweater were so like cigarette smelling griminess. Yeah, that I just was always weird, man. Yeah, yeah. So I bypassed it. Um, but apparently Macy's a couple years ago, they had a guy who was running the Echo clothing line and um, which was a rival brand to Sean John, which was so big at Macy's, it got like an exclusive deal. Um, allegedly, Puff Daddy was there and he cornered this guy who works at Echo in the uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a in a merch room in the back uh-huh. um, with a couple like of his, his bodyguards and uh, orally the guy. And and uh, threatened to, to to beat his ass and everything. And, and apparently the whole thing was two minutes. And then he went out, uh, walked out of the room as if nothing happened, and started handing out his Sean John merch to people, screaming fans and stuff. Like and like, that's nightmare. crazy. There was this song that I love by, called, by ASAP uh, Mob called Escape. And I played it a lot. And the first line is, got me feeling like Puff back in 9-8. And I was always like, yeah, man, more money, more problems. Got me feeling like Puff back in 9-8. And now, uh, whenever it's I'm different. like, yeah, he's like, got me feeling like Puff back in 9-8. I'm like, well, haven't dude suck you off you're like for two minutes submit. of Macy's? <laughs> <Clicking> <laughs> in the submit, back of room. Submit, submit, submit. Uh, and then start yeah, throwing merch that submit button. Yeah. <laughs> and a silver uh, puffy. What if, like, Puff Daddy, uh, what if he's mad chill? Like, what if you're there and he's like, bro, you got all this Xbox, man. You just got to suck your dick. <laughs> That's not Puff Daddy's voice, is it? <laughs> i don't know what that was that was shop or stop maybe we think of another one copper drop might be over you shop or stop okay go eat or yeet glopper drop glopper, subway glopper flop subway ghost pepper bread limited time offer i'm so happy you tightened that up i was like where is he going with this subway uh it's deciding to spice up their bread with uh, yeah ghost pepper bread uh drop drop cop i don't need your I'm super shop. spice yeah exactly i don't need your super spice. first of all like, this what? is like this might be the best a ghost pepper donut at this point when subway's no. making it well i just listen the thing is like it's artisanal about, don't forget that but see like like the whole spicy thing is something that like is t- t- something that to me is delicate because if i'm gonna hurt myself that's this it has to be important it's not to just have you, spice to be spice, bro. What do you? I, I don't. I'm not like on the spectrum that deep that I just need to stimulate my mouth to vibe. You know. This is, but some ways so, are late. I feel like they should have done this five years ago. Like, what are they doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I, I, I'm not about it. You know. Um, I'm down. But I don't. Well, listen. Hate- if I got the subway and they had that, and I would, I'd be like, okay. Uh, but what would I get? I mean, meatball sub. Like, yeah. No. No. They told well, me they, they have, have two. They have two new sandwiches on the on the subway series menu. Spicy, spicy nacho, nacho steak, steak and fiery meatball. Yeah. Honestly, spicy is is overdone, I feel. It's not even a good flavor. Everyone just wants to like, oh, it's some sort of weird exactly. ego eating. It ruins your mouth. It ruins flavors. It's like, I'd rather just. Yeah, Marlon. We get it, bro. <laughs> he came He came to go eat a super spicy, like 100 million Scoville epic meal. And I, I got the bites. I'm like, you're good. We got the bites. And he was like, no, no, I got this. Mm. And like he did, just like dominated all and was like, good. Um, I put in like one shot of to him taking a bite. <laughs> I was like, no, you killed him though. You did. You did. I mean, I did. But no, he sorry. is surprisingly, he is surprisingly one of the most capable spice uh, consumers that we know. Because he's dead inside. He should, yeah. <laughs> he should monetize that. That's where he is. He got to have that stimulation in his mouth. Pause. Couldn't be me. I ain't about that Diddy stuff, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try uh, it. Yeah, so 100 people protesting food dyes and cereals outside Kellogg headquarters. You guys must have heard about this. People are done. Red 40, dude. They're done with that Red 40 shit. I I, I was thinking that we should rename the podcast for the next time. It should be Red Red 40 40 discussion. It's a Red 40 podcast. The Red 40 shorties. That's when we (laughs) sign some girls. That's when we start. That's what you do, right? We got to get some. We got to get some women on here. And we're like, yeah, Pizza Hut single booth, right? And they're like, I don't know. But we're like, oh, my God, bitch, you don't know this. Why you don't have a husband? 
It's and everyone like, uh, listening, you're all poor. Sign up for my shit. It is pretty bad that we're 100. You're watching a lot of West Watson, eh? That's we don't have. You're, you're at West Watson level. That's what you're watching nonstop. <laughs> yeah. Would you say, Donnie? We're 100 episodes in. We haven't spoken to one woman. The best is like your girlfriend walking by in the background behind me. That's the only women we've ever had in this I know. Like, What's she doing at his house again? <laughs> <laughs> in my pajamas. But the, yeah, that Wes Watson guy, I get a lot of him. He's he's so mad. I see someone like that. He's the guy who's got like all these cars and stuff or whatever. You know, some nowadays I'm like, maybe it's so nowadays I'm like, someone could be a scammer like Dan Bilzerian's whole thing was a scam, you know? allegedly there so i see stuff and i'm like oh uh yeah no matter what even if this all this money is yours it's like dude there's no way you're happier than me moment to moment no like look at you bro dude the science is there after like depending in north america after it's like around... five and a half inches she's not gonna feel anything anyways. <laughs> after like 75 <laughs> 85 thousand dollars in north america a year that's you're you're pretty much maxed out you're wrong no, I remember when it was, that number used to be 60,000. They bumped it up to like 85 or 90. More than that. No, no, no apparently like it's like there's not 250 drastic change. No, I'm not. Like. Yeah, I'm not saying that like a little bit more isn't better. I'm just saying your moment to moment happiness won't change. I think they're after we also k though, we, so I'm saying. No, but we k. get used. We get used to everything also. Right. It's like a thing that we do is what whatever it is that we're doing, we get used to. I don't know about so, you guys, though. I would take that million from Lace. No problem. Be pretty fucking happy about it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you got to come up with something, bro. Let's go. Check. We should hit up that epic meal epic meal flavor. No, because that's... Uh, I actually just... I, truthfully, I really just want honey mustard. Double double dust of honey mustard. That's I just want that. I want them to make a specialty chip for me. You know, why can't they... You know what they should do? <laughs> just that's so funny. Why can't I just... You know, you can like shoes on demand like to whatever color scheme you want like a nike id or an adidas or whatever yeah yeah. why can't i just get chips on demand why can't you just make me my chip my bag of chips that i want like that's a good marketing ploy you show up and you just order your chip and they send you like 10 bags hmm that'd be sick yeah uh i feel like uh it's too hard you'd fuck up you just fuck up a lot when you give people well, you'd the fuck choice, up and how are they supposed to make you a bag? I guess they could make labels. No, no, you could make the bag because they do that stuff with like some chocolate places or Oreo and stuff. But like, if you did it and you get a bad flavor that you made, you'd be like, they made it wrong. Like, I, I feel like it's just too much headache for them for what to sell you a bag of chips. Fuck out of here, bro. I just want a bespoke. <clears> now, chip, I mean, man. listen, if you made, if you got a subscription to get a bag of chips every ten, month, ten flavors a day, ten flavors a day, damn boy. No, but if you uh, like, I don't know. Bespoke chips, dude. I want it. That's next. We're gonna do that. We get to when we once we get the hair plugs and the uh, once we get the once we get the sponsors. Once the Gialdem Scalacci, we're gonna gonna launch our own bespoke chip. uh, Yeah, chip scene. If you want, we that should have been the name of the podcast, boys. Bespoke. That should be be the name of the podcast. Should be the name of the podcast. (laughs) We be bespoke. Well, in a hundred episodes, we're changing the name. Uh, yeah, I got a sick, sick chip flavor, cereal. Mm. Mm-hmm. My favorite cereal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By Little the way, Pony. instant cop. I see a a cereal chip called chips? my no no called my favorite cereal, and I'm I think like, we'll see about instant that. Cop. We'll see about that. Cereal well, chip it depends. Is like, cop. why don't you I've see like, cereal at that point? <laughs> I've, seen some, I've seen some Asian chips that do have a little bit like of a dairyish vibe to them. You know, we don't really get like too dairyish on our on our dairyish. What are you doing in my closet? You're dairyish. Spit out that gum. <laughs> we don't get too dairyish with our uh, with our chips. You know, I mean, we do. We get cheeseburger chips sometimes. But once you go to dairy, it's like you're going to like uh, Doritos. And no one's going to do like my favorite cereal Doritos. But do you know oh. Doritos restaurant? Yeah, my favorite cereal Oreo. Oreo's got to start collaborating. Yeah. Oreo's got to have like uh, Fruit Loops Oreo. I wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Frosted Flake Oreo would be good. What about, yo, what if we made a, a, a brand called Dutty Biscuits? Dutty Biscuits. And it was like nut butt. You gotta get your yo, okay. and cum you, slut. You gotta get your buddy bag Matt. academy. <laughs> what? 
get your boy Matt to make the fucking commercial for it. Like, yo, this nutty butty. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, be more uh, island. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the uh, that's actually uh, that's actually an excellent idea. Like dutty chips or dutty 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 cookies, dutty biscuit. And you you have like flavors that are like bag. Too of much ketamine. of a novelty, man. You're not making. Cash, <laughs> you don't know that bag of ketamine. Oh, the thing <laughs> yeah. is, you're the just thing a drug is, dealer, dude. dude yeah, but the, if, 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 you're just straight up dealing drugs. Uh, yeah, chip no, no, there's no, chip, there's no drug dutty it, ketamine like, flavor. It's off, it's off the website, and like realistically, if fifty thousand people thought it was funny, that's like ten mil. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a novelty, dude. Selling it on Okay, Stoke cool. Road. What's wrong with novelty, bro? It's fine. Talk to your boy Brian Nichols, dude. Let's see if this guy thinks Brian about Nichols novelty, would never bro. take the strategy, ever. He would never. That's why Brian Nichols has a fucking stupid head of hair, bro. Well, you going to be, a, you be a big dick bald man? Or are you going to be a fucking comb over fucking. Comb over is next, next week. <laughs> uh, yo, I was pop guy co- Popeye coding with that. Pop- Hey, yo, oh, hey, 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 that's my, uh, that's my DJ name. Pop, 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 yeah. you guys can definitely not be saying that. Where's well, sure. that knife, bro? You, you see your camera now, you can't just fling weapons around like that. Yeah, that's I also, that's stop. a quick way to get, uh, get shut down too on our new you're, channel. You're it's next to my okay, gigantic uh, televisions, bro. Yo, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna shut us down out. for first episode. We're gonna be shut down on the new channel because Donnie's had to take his knife out and play with it on ca- on camera. While well, Harley talks about nut, but it's like a very threatening podcast we're putting out right now. <laughs> bro, you're for a bald man. That's the weakest shit I heard. I'm bringing the test <laughs> levels all the way up in this cha- in this ch- on this not, uh, episode. Bro. Right bro, now. Bro, the only test Dude, you should see what they talk about on PKA. <laughs> you should talk about on PKA. Talk about aquariums and video games. Mm. Aquariums. Oh, they talk about Lord of the Rings. You've been vibing with Lord of the Rings season two. Love it. Really? We should watch that. I really liked it. Yeah. Would you like should to I watch, watch season it? one? First? I think I think I'm surprised how many people. I'm surprised it doesn't get the type of publicity other shows get. It's because Amazon sucks. Me. Everything no, people Amazon were hating on it. No one liked that they had uh, black dwarves and that the, Who cares the about orcs. That? The orcs matter. were orcs have families or something. Dude, everyone's, so, that caught, for you, everyone's right? so caught up in like canon. Like, who gives? Nah, but shit, what about dude? you though? You sitting there watching with the, your baby bouncing on your leg. The orcs have love families. Each other. You have no, the orc, 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 like, orcs orcs can have families. The orcs scared her, and I can tell you that people. This is this, this is something that bothers me a lot. People are so caught up. There's like a, a level too far. Like when they did the Snow White thing and replaced the dwarves with other people. I'm like, this is too far. We've gone too what? far with this. Okay. But what they do shows and it's like, we don't like know where cast... anyone stands right now. What are we standing on the doors? What's going on? We didn't no. like that. No, what I'm saying is I'm saying that like when people cast like a different race, let's say, and it's not exactly yeah. to the canon. I don't, I actually don't care. I care like more about the acting. You didn't care that we had a black little mermaid. Doesn't bother me. I just care about the acting and the content, the story. But when you go to the seven dwarves and that's the title of it, and then you go and cast not dwarves or little people. I'm like, what are we doing now? This is like we're trying way we're I, overthinking this way too much. We've gone too far down the road of this, like trying Wait, to. Wait, why PC. didn't they cat why didn't they they cast the dwarves? I know we spoke with this like episode four, but why why didn't they <laughs> they got this they got lit up? They they a picture got leaked and they were like, well, who are these people? They're like they're So then like, what'd they do? They went like the as further down. I, they they actually had to redo it in CGI all the dwarves in. I'm pretty that's sure. what they did. I'm pretty sure that's what the end result is. Yeah, that's but, so, so sad. If you got your big break as grumpy, anyways, go ahead, Donnie. What? Obviously, don't have a, a problem with like, like something like the Little Mermaid or something. But people no, obviously don't have different. a problem with skin color. Go on. Yeah, I'm just saying that like with something like Lord of the Rings and the elves. It's like the language is so specific in the writing of the books that it, it's kind of weird to change it. Yeah, we're watching the show now, bro. Yeah, we're in 2024. Save your books for Season days with two. your girlfriend, pal. We're, yeah. we're watching TV over here. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I, 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 I just don't that think it's that you. big a deal. Like, well, who It's not that? a big deal. I'm not like, they ruined it. They're, do, first, of all, like, they're, first of all, they're, they're like elves, dude. Fill me, fill me in. What's why, why, why? Tell me why, and you're not racist. Why there? We can't have a black elf, Donnie, because of the book. I want to hear. It's not that you can't. Well, it's just because it doesn't. It's it's got him. Yeah, I, it's got funny. I'm like on the spot trying to explain it. 
You're I'm looking real that suspect the, with that hat and the glasses and this. Yeah, bro. I don't think I left the hat and glasses. I'm a little suspect with that silver really and shit. Yeah, I don't think it's the hat and glasses that are doing that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess you could just say it maybe is a product of the time. But yeah, the elves are all fucking like super pale and super blonde. And it's it's their whole thing. It's I've seen. Uh, well, wait, how 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 black is the blackest elf? That's oh, sorry, weird. Elves. That's that's one of the weirder questions. That is weird. Uh, I can tell you that none of this came. All I can say is from a content perspective and my enjoyment of the show. I never yeah. sat around. You're right about being that. upset like, about any of the stuff. Change. I was like, "This is just a good show." I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. it it's like I didn't think about it. I think when you go too far, it's when you recast the dwarves. Is like it's kind of feels like it's funny that you draw lines like that. You don't you're just saying because the of two? the like literalness of it that it's called the seven dwarves, and then they're like not dwarves though. But wait, this is this is a uh, uh, this is a dwarf. What? That's dark. This woman's a dwarf in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, a dwarf. Yeah, I don't know. I I actually don't know specifics like that. I'm trying to think in the. So writing. you guys are telling me back in the olden days you knew what race? Well, I put in. I went on Google one? and I wrote. I went on Google and I went Lord of the Rings TV show B, and it said blackest person that came up. Like it predicted that because it's um, listening to you. But six years ago, someone was like, "Any black people in Lord of the Rings?" You know. Uh, and this guy was like, uh, Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, per Tolkien. By the way, random person on Reddit. Uh, analog of Northwest Europe, similar to Game of Thrones, where the darker skinned characters are in the North Africa anal analogous regions. It is what it is. More diversity can exist in Star Wars because it's not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but more yeah. diversity can exist in Star Wars because it's aliens. Yeah. yeah. It, but it would be like taking, let's say, um, you know, like an an old African story and just recasting it with like Norwegian people mixed yeah, in. Yeah, if Africa was Middle Earth, <laughs> then I'd agree. I I personally like I, I I'm trying to think of like one where I'm like, where would I really be annoyed if someone was a different color? Um, like I would be. I I mean, I'd be annoyed like. I guess you know what? If I saw the Halo show and and they made Master Chief a woman, okay, I would be bothered. Oh, so they're they're not. So but I that's think weird. it's a bit depends on the writing. Like they're not writing it. But like, not you know, like bothered is one thing. Right? Accolade's like, problem is that the narrative and the writing they were pushing was too woke for people, uh, and they're so protective over that. In this case, they're just like casting different people. It's not like pushing uh what people what people would piss off or be mad about like a woke agenda or whatever you want to call it, like an agenda yeah. that's like changing the whole story. They're just casting differently. If they cast differently, like who cares? Like I really don't care about that. If they're trying to push like a specific like I don't know, message that's like I don't know. Uh but it's also we got to like caveat what we mean by care. I don't care. I'm, it's not like I have. I'm seen really care a lot. Yeah, you have to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, by the way, I'm looking at the black elf. Uh, and if this, if I saw that, uh, if I saw this guy, if I lived in Middle Earth and someone showed me this guy and they're like, he's an elf, I'd be like, oh yeah, I see it. There you got plenty of ears. He's 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 one of the darker elves I've seen, but you he's uh, he's much paler than the Urukai. <laughs> so you know, for real though i'm shocked what you guys are hating on like you guys hold on i'm trying like, to analyze if i said something wrong <laughs> no but it's hilarious <laughs> it's hilarious it's welcome to hilarious podcast <laughs> yeah we'll watch it bro burgers. this or penguin which one should i dip into first both i don't know do you like sopranos <laughs> what dip into uh dip into a um, bag of get me up there yeah season two of uh or the ring because it's finished. Penguins act like Season only two four of episodes. My baggy. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, a good place to end. Uh, episode one hundred yeah. on season two of your baggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sick episode. Sick, sick podcast name. Oh yeah, I wanted to leave everyone listening. Uh, the substance horror movie. Danny Moore. You guys should watch it. Also, it's fucking nasty, crazy. It's good. I actually liked it. Not many movies like it. It's very artistic. That, but that makes it sound like not fun artistic. It's not artsy. It's zany. Fucking, that's a trip. It's Billy zany.
Yeah. I want yeah. to leave you with this one more thing too. And another thing. YouTube.com slash double dusted. Go subscribe. Put on notifications. We'll, we'll drop some real stuff. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to the some, Reddit. Yeah, the subreddit's been popping. We've been, yeah, we've been shout out to all the supporters. I go there. I go there. I'll watch on YouTube. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be commenting. I want a yeah. mastermind to give away. I think a giveaway is a good yeah, thing. Yeah, we're giving I away Harley's people, old air fryer. Uh, the, I want a mastermind that are, with a, uh, that are loyal deserve a giveaway. Dude, mm. I want a mastermind with a stranger behind the gas station. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 hey. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. Kill me. I can't stop. Anyways, thanks for listening. Uh, trust no one except us. Stay true to yourself, all your heart. Yay, yay. Yeah.